Hello, hello there everyone. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Teacher E. So before I start this video, I just want to make it a habit of saying how thankful am I to all my friends and families who have been very supportive with me. And of course, to all my co-teachers. Hi there everyone. I know I can't see you and you can see me too. But thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for liking all my videos. Thank you for those who went to my Facebook page and liking my page as well. Thank you so much, guys. You're really, really awesome. Okay, so before I move on further with this video, I just want to make a quick announcement with you guys. And this is really going to be great. Normally, I would go to my inbox, messenger, or Gmail to check some of the unsent uh, files because some of the teachers are sending me a wrong Gmail. So guys, please do make sure that your Gmails are correct so that I can successfully send all the materials that I need to send to you all. Okay, so where is the announcement? Okay. <laughs> so, the thing is that, okay, before I move on to that announcement, I just want to make it clear that, guys, I'm seeing all the messages that you're sending me to my Gmails or my messengers. Maybe some of you I won't be able to reply as soon as possible or maybe some of you I really haven't replied at all but believe me guys, I receive all the mails. I just can't reply them because I'm very busy. Okay, so now let's go on to the announcement. Where's the announcement? Okay, for the past two weeks, I know that I haven't posted anything in YouTube because I'm very busy but I really had an awesome experience for the past few days and i had really had a great amazing news that i received from some of the teachers and that is not only one not two not three but few teachers in akatsak who have messaged me and told me that they have been promoted wow that was really awesome and that's great because it's not only one i mean one is already more than enough for me to hear that they have been promoted because the TM told them that the PPT reward you have been showing is really amazing. The EDB files that you have been using is really great. And it, I can see how the students is interacting with you in the class. Okay, that is one. That is really awesome for me to hear. But what if you hear not only one, two, not only three, but few teachers have been telling the same thing to me that their TM have noticed how great they are in the class and how the students have been very responsive during the lessons. Oh my god, I, I my heart was bursting. I, I'm, I really feel so much of joy when I heard the news and I read the messages from those teachers. And I'm so, so honored, guys, to be part of your achievements. Your achievement is also my achievement. And I just want to congratulate you again. Welcome aboard for being one of the top tutors as well. Okay, so just a quick reminder, okay, guys? Not because of the PPT reward, not because of the, the those EDB files that I have sent to you, made those teachers one of the top tutors, okay? Being a top tutor is a big responsibility. When we talk about responsibility, it doesn't mean that being one of the top tutors, you have to have the best PPT award. It doesn't mean that you have to have the most attractive and enjoyable EDB games or activities that you can offer to your students. Remember guys, we are not only here to make our students have fun and make them happy in the class. You have to also keep in mind that we are here to make our students learn. Make sure that whenever your students leave in your class, they learn something from you and something new every day whenever they come into the class. So that is one of the factors that you have to remember. So that's a quick advice from me, guys. So now let's move on to the video tutorial that I want to share with you today. Okay, so two weeks ago, or let's say three weeks ago, you received a PPT reward from me, which is the egg PPT reward and the gift box PPT reward. Some of the teachers still messaging me and telling me that they cannot open those gift boxes and the egg rewards in the A classroom talk loud version or nutless version. Okay, so today guys, I'm going to be showing you the tutorial on how to upload the PPT rewards in both different classrooms. So for the first part of this video, we will be uploading the PPTX or the PowerPoint in the A Classroom Talk Loud version. So now let's go to the, your A Classroom. 
go to that folder, choose the file or the PowerPoint that you want to upload. So for this video, we will be using the Ag PPT reward. Okay, now before you click this upload button in here, guys, make sure that you tick or check this box first. It says dynamic PPT. Okay, if you missed out clicking this one and you directly click the upload button, whatever PowerPoint slide that you upload in the A Classroom Talk Loud version, it will be converted as a PDF file. So there will be no animation on your slide. So that's the reason why some of the teachers were telling me that they cannot open the PPT reward in the A Classroom Talk Loud version. Okay, you have to remember to click this first. Okay, so now let's go to your conversion. Once it's done, okay, as how you upload this thing in class in exactly what you are seeing in class in is the similar image or animation that you will see in the talk loud version so all you have to do is ask the student to circle which egg they like and you will mouse over that egg click that egg and it will prompt you to the action of opening the egg as it is okay or and then after that if you want to go back you just have to click this girl in here and it will bring you back to this page okay so you have to repeat the same process until your student is already satisfied with their reward okay so now okay this is how your class in and your talk loud version works for this ppt okay now i will be showing you how does this ppt reward look like and used in the netless version and how are we going to upload that to okay so remember guys okay you have to know the difference of how to upload in the talk loud version and in the netless version you also have to know the difference on how to use the ppt reward in both different classrooms okay so now let's go to the netless version go to that cloud and then go to that sections where it says mine okay from there you can see this upload button just click that one and then find the ppt reward that you want to upload so again we will be using the egg ppt so you can see the difference okay so once you click that one okay it will take time for you to convert and upload the whole thing okay for this one you don't have to click or tick any box at all so it will be directly upload and converted as a powerpoint uh, file so now once it's done okay all you have to do is just open that file and you will see this one okay the difference is that from the class in the a classroom talk loud version the image or the animation is different okay in this one you can see that there's a rectangular box on the background i tried to remove that but still the conversion on the netless version is different so i don't know why okay so just have to do the same thing ask the student to circle the egg which egg they like and you can just mouse over on that egg we don't have any problem with that okay so now the challenge is how will you open this egg because on the netless version you cannot mouse over on that egg and it will open up all you have to do is click the next button okay on the left side bottom of your netless version classroom there's an arrow there which is the next button click that one and it will prompt you to open up that egg okay so now i'm going to show you how does it work okay so just go there click the next button and it will show you the reward that's inside that egg okay so guys that is the difference of how to use this egg ppt reward in the talk loud version and in the netless version so that's my quick tutorial on how to upload a powerpoint or pptx in a classroom talk loud version or in the netless version okay guys you just have to remember we have three different classrooms in agonsoc one is class in another is talk loud version another one is netless version of a classroom so those are three different things and every classroom has different types of conversion when it comes to uploading the file that you want to use so if possible try to test any ppt reward or anything that you want to use as a reward for your student before the class normally only in class in we can try to test the ppt reward that we want to use right we have the blackboard we can try and test any ppt reward in there but how are we going to test the ppt reward for a classroom 
we are only allowed to enter the A classroom like five minutes before the class, right? So the time is very short and limited. So I don't think so the time is enough for you all to test any PPT reward because you still have to wait for the conversion. The conversion normally would take around two minutes, longest is three minutes. So it seems that it's impossible for you to try the PPT in A classroom. But there's a way guys like what we are always saying if there's a will there's a way so normally we will tag the student like absent during the 15 minutes that they didn't show up in the classroom so during this time you can use this to try and test your ppt reward you will have enough time to convert the ppt that you want to use and you will have time to navigate and try and test how this thing will work in that particular classroom whether it's in the a classroom talk loud version or in the netless version so try to be productive if the student is not available in the class whenever you receive a file or any ppt reward from me i want you to be prepared before you try that to use in the classroom because like i said earlier the only person that will be very frustrated when you unsuccessfully navigate or use that ppt reward in the classroom is not you okay it's the student just imagine that the student is already very happy during the class and the class is going to end soon and the worst thing happened that you cannot use the reward after the class so it's very disappointing guys so don't be too excited i know you're really excited to use all the ppt reward that i have been sharing with you guys but the most important thing is you have to be confident on how to use those files because this is not only for you but mostly we are doing this for the students right we want them to be happy at the end of the class so that's it for this tutorial guys i hope everything is clear with you on how to upload those um ppt or powerpoint in the talk loud version and in the netless version before i end this video i just want to show this one guys for those who receive the gift box reward okay i actually advise you to use this only in class in why because this gift box comes with a corresponding edb that you will be giving to your student once it's opened or once you open the box okay so there are corresponding edb for this gift box like those um, puzzles legos some remote control cars or anything the movie so if you use this in the a classroom talk loud version or the netless version you won't be able to give the puzzle to your student. You won't be able to give the movie to your student because right after the class, you won't be able to to give those EDB files to them because we are not allowed to upload any EDB in the TalkLoud version, right? Though in the Netless version, we can upload all the jpg file one by one but it would really consume a lot of time so i advise that you just use this one in the class in classroom okay so use this for your class in students okay not in the a classroom talk loud or netless version unless unless you want to change the reward that's inside the box okay so if you want to change the reward let's say the puzzle and the movie you can change the, those two things in a different kind of reward that you want to give to your student in that case you will be able to show and use this also in the talk loud version but just make sure that you won't mess up with the animation that i have already done on that powerpoint okay so for those who know how to use the powerpoint please you can customize this one you can use whatever reward that you want to put inside the box you can do that but for those who doesn't know or you're not confident on how to use the powerpoint okay guys please don't try to change it if you are not oh, uh, if you are not really confident on how are you going to change the animation or how are you going to change the reward inside this gift boxes okay so that's it for the tutorial of this video i hope you like it guys and thank you so much for watching thank you all to my families and friends who have been supporting me and to all my co-teachers please hit that like and subscribe button and also don't forget to click that notification bell so you will be notified on my next video thank you so much guys and have a wonderful day and happy teaching bye